Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful ride share revolutionaries. It's me Geo. Y'all know the fuck it is. Alrighty. So we are actually the having the actual wrap up right now. Um I went out to my buddy's son's birthday party last night. Didn't drink as much as I planned on drinking, so uh, I could have driven home last night, but I was like, you know what, why risk it? Uh I was totally, I mean, I felt sober, but I was tired, so I just, I fell asleep on the couch. I really, I mean, usually when that group gets together, we drink heavily, but a couple of the people that usually show up didn't show up, so we didn't really go as hard. Um, so, that happened. I drove this morning from like 6.40 to about 2, what time is it right now? 2.20, so a little over seven and a half hours, uh, if you guys want to add that to the grand total. So that's about 70, if you want to round up, 73 hours. Um, grand total for the week is about 1690 something for, for 70 something hours. I'll do all the math on everything towards the end of the video. Uh, first, I want to address uh, this, the picture I put on my community post yesterday and how you guys are absolutely ridiculous. Call me a racist. I took a picture of the ride I got from Aurora of a passenger that was called, or the name was spelled Y-O-N-G, ho, H-O. So when you say it out loud, it sounds like young ho. And if you have a sophomoric sense of humor like mine, you're gonna find that kind of funny. And since I figure we're all drivers here, right? Most subscribers are probably drivers. I'm like, yeah, you guys have probably seen some funny names too. That's probably the funniest name I've seen. Because I'm associating this passenger's name because it sounds like Young Ho. And I'm personally a fan of Young Ho's. Uh, oh, now, he's a, now he likes Ho's. He's such, he's such a bully. Apparently that's racist. Let me give you guys a little crash course on what racism is. If I would have gotten that ping from Young Ho, which I did send that message to my Korean friend, and she said that's a dude's name, and I was really disappointed because I'd love to pick up a girl called Young Ho. I just think it's kind of funny. Um, it's a pretty common uh, boy's name in Korea, she said. Um, if I were to see the name Young Ho, and I decide I'm not going to pick up that passenger based on their name, that's racism. If I decide to pick up that passenger and treat that passenger any less or give that passenger lower quality service based on their name or based on their background or their ethnicity, that's racism. Thinking their name pronounced out loud sounds like young ho because it is spelled young ho is not racism. I have had to deal, you guys have called me a racist how many fucking times already? It's absolutely insulting to call a mixed race, first generation American, who has friends of every single kind of background and religion, a racist. It's absolutely insulting to call someone a racist that has given a ride to every single type of background and race and color and creed and religion, every single thing. Whatever whatever that race, religion, color, gender, what they identify as, it's been in this car or it's been in my GMC. I have not turned on service to anyone based on any of those factors. Based on sexual preference, based on color, any of that shit. And I do find it comical, a little bit, that one of the same people saying I should be reported to Uber... Is the same person leaving semi-racist comments on my in, in my in my comment section? A um, little hypocritical, but anyway. Keep calling me a racist. I don't think you guys know what racism is. For example, here's a quick little story. Uh, in my late twenties, and I I think I retried again in my early thirties. I was on various swipe apps like Tinder and Bumble, and I. I saw this one girl's profile. I believe she was Vietnamese. Um, I think so because my my friend, my sister actually knew her. And nice looking Asian girl. You guys know I'm into Asians. And 
the name on the profile was spelled out the letter N, the letter G, and the letter A. N-G-A on this really cute Vietnamese girl. And I'm like, immediately start laughing because I'm a fucking, I'm a bit of an idiot. And I'm like, yeah, I got a sophomore sense of humor. Because I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen that before. So I screenshot it and I sent it to all my black friends. And I have, I had a bunch of black co-workers and most of my stops at the time because I worked for Coca-Cola, had lots of black people working there. And I would show it to all my black friends, my black co-workers and the black people working in the stops. And they would all fucking crack up. And it turns out that her name was not pronounced as you would imagine. It's actually pronounced like not or something or not. not. Was, maybe I couldn't pronounce it correctly. But the whole thing was like, I would have loved to take this girl out and figure out how to pronounce her name. Is it racist to think that the words, the letters NGA are pronounced a certain way? No, it's not. You fucking tools. Jesus Christ. If you guys are literally offended by stuff like that, you can't be helped. If you literally think that's offensive to find something that dumb to be offensive and racist, you're beyond my help. Like just you're past a tipping point. You're you're everything offends you. Everyone's you, you're probably good. You got to be the life of the party. Everyone probably think everyone's got to always watch what they say around you because they know, oh, I can't. Uh, there's one person my comment and the guy named Brandon or something. <laughs> oh, Brandon's here. Everyone, everyone, shh, everyone watch your mouth. Don't want to upset Brandon. But, um, yeah, this week is a wrap. Uh, 72 hours. Um, yeah, it's about 72 hours. Almost 1700 bucks. Um, uh, I know my, 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 my trip meter says 1,235 miles. Go ahead and add 30 to that. Cause on Mondays I do eat miles and I'm actually going to drive a, bit, a little bit later. Um, so yeah, obviously I'll break down all the earnings and everything like that. Uh, I'll do my calculator stuff. Uh, but this week was, I mean, it was efficient. I, I, I did what I had to do. I worked, worked out a little bit less than I wanted to. I YouTubed, I responded to comments, did my vlogs. Um, yeah, let's pound down a little bit, right? Uh -huh. uh, the only thing I did not do this week that I wanted to do was do some stand up. Um, didn't have time for it, but got to do it more. I got to make more time for stand-up. But the only problem is, I'll talk about this really quick. The, well, the one of the big problems with stand-up comedy is, unfortunately, if you're going to do a set, doing a five-minute set is like a two to three hour commitment. I don't have a lot of time on my hands, you guys know. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really hard for me to justify giving two or three hours to do stand-up comedy when I know, like, I could be using that time to rest or work out or hang out with my lady friend or hang out with friends. Like, oh yeah, and I hung out with friends last week too, or yesterday, obviously. Um, it's it's like, I feel like since I do try to use my time efficiently, like comedy doesn't really, isn't the most efficient use of my time. I still love doing it, but it's just not the best use of my time. But I have to try to keep up. So, all right guys, that's all I got for this one. Uh, thanks. I want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, Keep calling me a fucking racist for no reason. It's it's the stupidest shit in the world. Look at me. Look where I live. <laughs> Look who my friends are. And I would call my friend John, black guy, and uh, and ask him if I'm a racist, but he would just say yeah, because that's his sense of humor. So, but yeah. All right, guys. Everyone, stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.